Hey guys, we're here playing uh, Noise Pawn Shop. Pretty good hand, all considered. Pretty cool. quite happy with this one, so we're gonna keep it. This is still a pre-ordering chaos build because I'm practicing for next weekend where we have a store championship that does not involve housekeeping. Oh, really? That's awful. No ice from this guy. What is going on here? I'm gonna turn that off. This card is absolutely disgusting against noise shop because we install cards all the time. Mark Yale, that's fine. Scorched Earth, okay. So we're getting some intel already. Yep, installing any card is gonna cost, cause us to trash a card from our grip. Pretty unhappy with that because we install nearly everything. Install things all day. Oh boy. All right, what do we got? Caduceus or something? Successful run. There's a sand sand. Lord, okay. Well, we know where this is going. Enigma, sure. This is very unfortunate. Because even installing the parasite forces us to discard something. Getting this out on turn one is actually incredibly oppressive. There's the sand sand. This is what, an ice wall or something? Mark Yale. Gain two credits. Okay, okay. Fancy. Well, you definitely can't have any money. Do I go through for two bucks for an access? And I almost have to. Because so I need to turn this thing off. Beanstalk royalties. Ugh. Do I parasite the Enigma and trash? Trash Knight? I think I do. Ugh. That sucks. So I milled the beanstalk. That's probably the sand sand. He has no money, which is a small mercy. Uh, let's draw. Let's inject. What do we see? David Cash Earthrise. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to. Uh, let's bring our archives up. The Deja Vu. Whoops. Can get back just cash right now. Well, I think I install this and I just trash max to Earthrise. But he's also pretty poor. I'm gonna open up his HQ again next turn. What I need to arrange is just install like three things in a turn, like or even four things in a turn. That's what I need to do. What is this? Successful run. Please show me an agenda. Let's just see Scorched Earth. I get a virus. I could. Quality time. That's actually not very good. Yeah. Let's play the pawn shop and I'll trash the quality time. And then I'll play the cyber feeder so I can not trash something. Yeah, like 35 of my cards are installables. Scored an agenda, giving me a bad pub. Okay, well now he has money. Not crazy about that turn of events. There's an imp. Whew, 
you know what? We need to trash that sand sand this turn. Does the Earthrise go? I think the Earthrise co just costs too much. I think the Earthrise goes. Let's go blow the sand sand up. But he must, he's playing more small agendas, so perhaps he will be able to do something soon. It's on 12 credits, and now we're in danger of getting sea scorched. Data sucker, okay. Pawn shop, okay. Run the archives. Probably getting taxed. Let's not run this turn. So next turn we can do a big install. Yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So Mark Vial can eat these counters for money. Kind of interesting. Is he gonna put out like snare and stuff now? We have to check these, right? He knows we have this imp token, so it's probably a snare. Let's find out. Jackson Howard. Well, we have bad pubs, so we'll trash that. This bad pub actually hurts him quite a bit. He uses this Jackson Howard to save the other Jackson Howard, sure. Yeah, I guess the sand send back, of course. Uh, do we start killing this? I guess. No, I think we just click for m money so we don't die to Scorch. Like, we're really in danger of getting blown out here. This bad pup could definitely help us. A shell game thing is this. This doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm gonna run whatever he puts out. Sand, sand. Yeah, we're gonna trash that. So is this the trap then? Markiel. Okay, he can just eat the counters. Three bucks each. Pretty respectable. So he's now made five bucks in this murky ale. Hmm. Trashes himself for two bucks, sure. Making a lot of money. Uh, I did run successfully, so I have to just click for money. Well, actually, I'm dead to see Double Scorch either way. What we need to do is get in his HQ and trash the Scorches. Don't tell me he has another sand sand. Just seems unlikely. All right, this turn we don't run. This turn we deja for imp and parasite. Play imp, trash in the pawn shop. Now we can either trash this. I think we gotta trash whatever this is. Okay, so it's not even successful, which is fine. And then we can also play Parasite here, or Daily Cast. Let's play Daily Cast, we need money. We need to stay somewhere around his area. Triple Hostile Takeover. Now, if we had any Icebreakers, we'd be in a lot better shape here. Crypsis, okay. Clone chip, decent. Imp again. 
tough prioritization here. Like, how good is a cyber feeder in the end? And the clone ship seems pretty good. But he can just res a bunch of ice now, so we're not going to run him out of money that way. This is brutal. How do I turn this off? I need to play my own current, I guess, but... Man, this is actually worse than ELP for our deck. Like, this is a nightmare. I think it's play Data Sucker. Trash Cyber Feeder. We need to get to archives in the next turn or two. No, he already used Jackson pretty recently. There's probably nothing in there. Now there's an agenda. Well, we need this one, right? We need to probably pawn this. Yeah, this sucks. We need to, we can draw, play Crypsis, put Crypsis token and run. Yeah, we can do that. Um, actually the clone ships, because this is each turn, so we use it on his turn, it sucks a lot. What do we got? Only oh, has two subs. So that's actually very cheap. We're gonna steal this, aren't we? And turn off, yes, high risk invest. Oh, really, it was a 5-3? Are we dead? Oh, punitive kills us, right? That's That was what he was doing. No, he had Scorch earlier. I don't think he's playing Scorch and Punitive. That would be kind of odd. No, I think we're not dead. I think he just single advanced for some bizarre reason. Like maybe he was going to Biotic as well. He has 17 influence. He could have these things. Huh. In any way. We suddenly went from totally screwed to in significantly better shape. Yeah, we're we're golden now. Uh, let's start killing this hive, do we? Or the caduceus? I mean, really, either one's fine. Let's kill the let's kill the the pair. Let's kill the caduceus. So he's already burned two of his Jacksons. Third one's in the deck or his hand. Biotic out another agenda. Yeah, nothing to say about that. If he has Biotic again, we just lose the game. All right, we need to get in his HQ. Ah, oh, this sucks. Five in the Crypsis token or five plus whatever the trace is gonna be, yep. Trace me. We have three bad pub at least, but oof. Yeah, that's why he did put this with one token on it. He was going to buy it out deceptively. Get another high risk investment. Re oh, that's just the bug. Yeah. And we see this time, wormhole. Yeah, I'll kill that with the imp. So we really just have to get in there and try to kill any fast advance piece he has. I think the bad pop combination with the 
Caduceus is just not working for him. Show me something good. Interns. Well, we'll kill that too. I think we just run in case of Sea Scorch. Or no, draw I mean in case of Sea Scorch. Yeah. We might lose here though. If he has either a biotic and a 3 2, like one of the two, he can find Interpeace with the Atlas token and score out. Kind of interesting. See, so realizing that was Hive has no tokens on it. Or no subroutines, I mean. This is interesting. What's he doing here? Is this distraction from what's actually going down? We have to run it, right? Could be a trap, but it's a sand sand. I actually pay two bucks to go through that, to trash that. Uh, do we play a card out? Kind of sucks to do so. I think we probably don't win on, on archives. Mm. Well, we have to... Just got to disable any more fast advance pieces, right? Or try to score out. This gives me not enough money. Four bucks. Let's get in there. He must have something now, he's thinking about boosting the trace. But he doesn't, he's hoping I miss, I guess. What do we see? Geothermal fracking, thank you. Huh. Tough call now, because if he has biotic and I don't hit it, or if he has a 3-2 and I don't hit it, he wins the game. But if I don't draw, and he still has a Scorched Earth. Didn't do the Scorched Earth, go in the trash. He's got one Scorched, so I got, we got a draw here. Okay, we can... We can do something here. My feeling is imp will become even more important than it is currently because of the way that people have options to just do degenerate things like this, you know, this biotic train thing. Uh, he is scared of us doing something. It's Deja for imp cash. Play the imp. Do we win now? We might actually win now on archives. Ice wall, okay. What do we get? There it is. And that's the game. So yeah, you, you gotta count how many are in here that you don't know what they are, because some of those we knew what they were, but there was about five-ish that we didn't know. So really nerve-wracking, these Atlas counters are so strong, it gives your opponent so many lines of play to consider.
So yeah, certainly had he been playing I've had worse, it would have been nice. But listed okay after, after all. I've had worse would have avoided us having to maybe ditch these Earth Rises. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching.